Welcome back to another episode of Kinetic Crystal. Today, I'm so excited that we are gonna be making our very own s'mores using a solar panel oven that we're gonna make. How cool is that? Oh yeah, did I tell you? I'm an actual scientist. Today is all about having fun because it's summer and who doesn't love s'mores? I mean, I love s'mores. And for today's experiment, you're gonna need stuff for s'mores, your graham crackers, marshmallows, and milk chocolate. And for our oven, you're gonna need a pizza box, aluminum foil, plastic wrap, colors, markers, I have stickers if you wanna decorate your cardboard box, uh, some glue, tape, scissors, and some black paper. And you may need an adult because we will be cutting the cardboard. Are you ready to make a solar powered oven so we can roast some marshmallows? I'm so excited. First, you need to get your cardboard box. I got a box from Pizza Hut. You're going to need an adult to help you with this first part with the scissors. The first thing we're going to do is cut our oven flap. So we're just going to go around here, which mine kind of has a window, but we need this extra flap. Never be afraid to ask for help. So here's my box. Here's my flap. Now is the fun part. You get to decorate it. So I brought some stickers. Look how cute, it says have some more fun. I thought it'd be perfect for our box. We're taking the camping trip home. <laughs> you don't have to go anywhere. You're also gonna need a pencil or a stick that's going to prop up our oven. Forgot to mention that I found my stick outside, so we'll make it work. So I finished decorating my box, and now you're gonna take your black cardboard paper to the bottom of our oven. Again, be sure to ask permission before using scissors without an adult. So we're putting black paper in the bottom of our oven because black paper absorbs heat, which means it's gonna get hotter. So now that I have it cut to the right size, I'm gonna take some glue and glue it down. Now you're gonna take some aluminum foil and we're going to tape it to the inside of our flap door. So I'm gonna close it so it makes it a little bit more easy. So now we're gonna take our and glue it to the inside. The purpose of the aluminum foil is to reflect the sun into our oven and that's how it gets hot. So now that that's in place, we're going to take the plastic wrap and we're gonna tape it on top of our box. Now I wanna be careful not to tape it over the sides because we need to be able to put our s'mores in place. The plastic wrap is going to keep the air inside our oven hot. Just like your oven door, the door keeps the heat trapped in. But since we have the aluminum foil as our flap to reflect the sun, we have to cover with some plastic wrap to keep our oven closed. Plus, we don't want any bugs inside our s'mores. Okay, now my oven is completely sealed. Now comes the fun part. Now that we have built our oven, we're gonna put our s'mores inside. Before we put our s'mores inside, let's go ahead and tape that stick to keep our oven door open while we're cooking. So my stick's a little too large, and you're gonna want it probably at a little angle. Kinda depends on the sun, I think. Let's see. Oh, I didn't break it where I wanted to break it. And now we're gonna, oh, kinda stays open by itself. But I'll take tape and tape it anyway, cause, you know, wind. Now we can have our own camp site in the back, in our backyard, or on our balcony. I live in an apartment, so I'm just getting in the driveway setting it up and we'll see how long it takes to heat up which the time it takes to heat it up will depend on how hot it is where you live on a hot day that may be 100 degrees maybe it'll only take 30 minutes whereas if it's 70 degrees it might take an hour and a half i don't know but that's something for you to try out now that you know how to build a solar oven all right are we ready to make our s'mores i'm going to take this outside Okay, so we have our s'mores made. Oh, and it's already melting. So we have our chocolate melting on the top. We have one on the bottom so we can really see our marshmallow expand. And I put in a thermometer so we can see how hot it actually gets inside our solar powered oven. You ready to see how long it takes? Let's go. It's been a 
little over an hour and we have our s'mores and they look delicious. The chocolate's all melty and I brought a normal marshmallow that has not been in the sun just so we can compare. It got over 150 degrees. Oh my goodness, look at this! Oh, oh it's gonna be so good! Mm. I hope you try this at home. Have some s'mores in your own backyard. No fire needed! Bye! See you next time!